Hello, Leander ISD. I want to acknowledge that we're in a very tough time right now, and COVID numbers continue to rise across the district, but it is really, really important that we continue to keep open and stay as safe as possible. Staying open is critical for our students' well-being, for their learning, but also for many other needs that they have that we can provide answers and solutions to. We feed them at least twice a day. We provide a really safe environment for them when sometimes their home environments are not safe. And we give them social and emotional support where sometimes they can't get that at home. That's why it's important for our students to be here in person with us. I've had the privilege this last week of being out and about on various different campuses, visiting classrooms and seeing what kids are up to. And let me tell you from my experience, kids are happy, they are learning, and our staff are working effectively with them in person. Connections are being made and the connections are absolutely critical to the well-being of our students. We need our students here in person. They need to make those connections with other kids and other adults. And the longer we can keep them in person, the better off they will be. Part of the student experience is extracurricular activities. We have heard the community's concern about our outdoor activities. We continue to believe that it's really important for our students to experience as many of those near to normal activities as possible. Our health department continues to give us guidance that outdoor activities are relatively safe and so we will continue to participate in those as best we can. We do realize that indoor extracurricular events are a little different and that is why we've moved to 50% capacity for those activities. Here's my dilemma and this is what keeps me awake at night. How do I balance what I know is right for kids and having them in person and keeping our students, our staff and our community safe when we don't have the tools that we had before? I lose sleep about this all the time and we're trying to balance that. Because of that, we're having to close some classrooms and send them to remote learning for a short amount of time. This last week we had to send some whole grade levels to remote learning for a short amount of time. We're hoping that in the long run that helps to keep the majority of our students in person where they need to be. Thank you for being hashtag one LISD, for working together, for showing kindness and compassion and empathy with each other.